A Mostra Internacional de Teatro de São Paulo mais uma vez se confirma como um espaço de experimentação e questionamentos. Metrópolis foi a MIT SP. Entre 1891 e 1893, o grupo chamado African Native Choir viajou para a Grã-Bretanha, Estados Unidos e Canadá para se apresentar e levantar fundos para a construção de uma escola. I came across the story of the choir when I was working in a museum in South Africa, the Apartheid Museum. Yeah. I was fascinated about the fact of having a choir in that period exactly. in time, traveling from South Africa to a place of the colonizer, which were colonized by the British in South Africa. Big Ben, the Thames, the people. And I was just also putting it in the perspective of today in terms of what's happening today in terms of migration, in terms of the collision of cultures. It's not about the literal uh, consequence of the choir itself, but how do we relate the story to the current um, situation where the similar kind of um, the pushback of migration um, are still being experienced. You use several languages, you use uh, dance, you use spoken word, and you use music. And I think every moment for us was a statement, um, even when we were using just light as, as a set, you know, to create a frame, we use that light to symbolize something. When we were working on, uh, on the project, we were very clear that we wanted a very strong representation of African voices. So there was really a care in terms of the choices that were made. People are saying that maybe this is your last <laughs> expert as a dancer. I carry with me many, many years of recurring histories. You know, there's a, there's a history of my ancestors that lives within my DNA. And when I'm on stage, it's a way for me to deal with that trauma on stage. It's a journey, really, that I take, and I feel I have reached that level, that point, and it feels full. Korea is a small country, lolling and rolling. Enhanced school curriculum with practical lessons. I would like to know about the, this tr trilogy. What's the idea? When I was small, I loved listening to the radio. The first word I learned in English was ready. Hamatia Tilord uh, is my own artistic practice and trajectory, which was started in 2014 and it was completed in 2021. Actually, the Hamatia means the tragic flow of main character in Greek, ancient Greek tragedy. Having children who can speak English well is the ultimate status symbol. The first work, Rolling and Rolling, is about English imperialism. Koreans also uh, invest lots of time and money to improve their English skills. But somehow, the language imperialism is not only about our um, language, linguistic skills. It's about cult cultural colonialism. R. If you don't have the same sound in your language, it can feel really awkward making this sound. R. The second piece, Cuckoo, um, is about economic imperialism. Especially, it's about uh, the East Asia economic 
crisis in 1997. Since 1997, the suicidal problem, the, the rate, is getting serious and it still is a big problem. The third piece, the history of Korean Western theater, is about theater imperialism. The history of theater, we never know when it was started. They started to celebrate the Western modern theater from 1908. History is filled with discarded regimes that have... What's theater for you? I'm still asking myself. I hope one day I can listen to it yeah, from myself. Korea is a small country, very real danger to this. Esse foi o Metrópolis de hoje. A gente se vê amanhã. The anti-colonial struggle. O canal do Metrópolis Programa tem mais conteúdos imperdíveis, como esse que você acabou de assistir. Fiquem com a gente e aproveitem muito mais. É só clicar no sininho que a gente te avisa sobre os próximos vídeos. Até lá.